Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my cooking. Today I will be showing you how to make meat of the curry. The ingredients for the meatball mixture you will be needing are 500 grams of mutton mince. Now I'm using mutton, you can always use lamb if you prefer. In here I have one small sized onion, one small sized tomato and eight green chilies which I've added to a chopper and finely chopped. Quarter teaspoon salt and in here I have the Laziza Kofta Masala which is readily made in a packet. This is available at all Asian supermarkets and you may even find it at some leading supermarkets. The ingredients you will be needing for the curry mixture are one medium sized onion which I've finely chopped, two small sized onions which I've added to a chopper and again finely chopped, half a teaspoon salt, in here I have eight garlic cloves and one inch stem of ginger which I have crushed. In here I have the remaining packet of the Laziza Kofta Masala. Now what I forgot to mention with the ingredients for the meatball was that you will be using two tablespoons from the packet to add to the meatball mixture and the remaining masala from the packet will go into the curry mixture. So in total you will be using one packet of Laziza Kofta Masala. Fresh coriander, roughly about one cup, and two green chilies which I have sliced in half. Now with the Kofta Masala that I will be adding in the curry mixture, I will add in about half a cup of water and give it all a mix together and allow it to stand until I add it to the curry mixture and in the meantime it will form into a thicker paste. Now this brings out the extra flavour of the masala. Add the mutton mince to a large bowl, add in the mixture which is the onions, tomatoes and green chilies, the salt and the Laziza Kofta Masala, two tablespoons. Give this all a mix together. Once the ingredients are all mixed in well to the, in the mutton mince, you can now prepare your meatballs. Slightly wet your hands and take a bit of mince. Now you, the size of the meatball can vary according to how you prefer. Try not to keep it too small as it will shrink once you put it in the oven. In the meantime I have preheated the oven to gas mark 7, 220 degrees Celsius, 445 Fahrenheit. I will make the meatballs and add them to a baking tray. Once the meatballs are ready and placed in a breaking tray, I will now place them in the middle shelf of the oven and allow them to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. After 25 minutes of cooking the meatballs in the oven, the meatballs are now ready and this is how they should look. Add half a cup oil to the pan, add in the onions, ginger and garlic. If it's all a mix together, I will cook this for, on a full flame for about 5 minutes until the onion, ginger and garlic starts to soften. After 5 minutes of cooking on a full flame, the onion, ginger and garlic has now become soft. I will now add in the tomatoes with a bit of water. I will also add in the salt along with the prepared mixture of the Laziza Kofta Masala. I will mix this all together. I will now add the meatballs into the curry mixture. I will turn the flame high. I will also add in the fresh coriander, leaving some for garnishing and leaving the green chilies to garnish at the end as well. After 
after a few minutes of cooking the meat balls, I will now add in two glasses of water. I will now let this come to a boil and then turn it to a low to medium flame and allow it to cook until the curry starts to thicken up. It has now come to a boil so I will turn the gas to a low to medium and allow it to cook until the curry has thickened up. After 20 minutes of cooking on a low to medium flame, the kofta curry masala has now thickened up. Now turn off the flame, garnish with green chilies and the remaining coriander before serving. The meat kofta curry is now ready to be served. Serve with tandoori roti or naan. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do try it out. Let me know how you got on. Thank you for your support. Until next time, goodbye and Allah Hafiz. Thank you.